Hey guys, it's Daddy Cool here with another Equalizer episode. This possibly could be the last one, but hopefully not. I'll look into making some more as I find out more things, because, like, you know, I've been finding out things, helping you out, and, um, yeah, hoping, looking forward to Infinite Warfare, or Remastered, whichever one gets chosen, but quite frankly, I've been watching the replays, or, like, gameplay of Infinite Warfare, and it's looking extremely fun to me. So, today's Equalizer video is going to be about playstyle, habits, and just overall... I don't know, mindset while playing the game and things you can do to get better um, without actually tweaking anything. The previous equalizers were tweaking, making your PC run better, make it better for gaming because I believe that you want to play games, you have to make your PC run games as best as possible, especially with our shit internet in our country, you need to optimize on things. Um, PS, I'm not using NetLimiter anymore, it's not working for this game and people keep on tuning me for it, so I've decided altogether to drop it. Use it, don't use it, your choice. Quick announcement, my team BZK came third at this year's uh, Do Gaming League Championships, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll link a little interview we had uh, in the comment section below, so yeah, let's get started. So first of all, a very, very, very important thing you have to do whenever you want to be better, get better, you have to train, you have to drill, you have to do anything. You get look at any sport, people go in their own time and they practice how to do the hoops for basketball, they tra practice their passing or drop goals for rugby, anything like that. Same here with uh, Call of Duty. So remember, this is not for pub, but preferably use this for pub as well. Take advice, I'm going to get to that later. But yeah, this is how you're going to bet yourself. So I'm going to take you step by step, two drills. And I'll also link the main guy's description because he's inspired this. I've just modified it to ourselves. And obviously you're going to have to change it a bit up for Infinite Warfare because this video is like a prelude to Infinite Warfare. But it's going to have the same um, standards no matter what. So yeah, you're going to go into custom game. It's two drills. Two, two drills, okay? First of all is your reaction time drill. Now reaction time drill is all about getting a kill as fast as possible and making sure your first shot lands. It's kind of, you teach your brain to snap. Uh, gaming is all about muscle reflex and muscle memory, so if you train yourself out, to, if you see something on your screen, how to quickly react there and shoot there with, with a flick of a mouse or something, it really helps a lot. So what you're going to set up is you're going to first of all set up your bots, you're going to make like any map, but bigger and more people you put in, obviously you put in 8 and you make sure they're veteran. Now you put, if, you, if you're a bit new and you want to just not get direct, put them on hardened, but veteran, preferably I have a veteran. And uh, yeah, here's the gun loadout and the class loadout and everything, so here it goes. So we're going to change the game mode to freefall, which is already on. Edit game rules. Time limit, make it about 15 minutes, well, 30 minutes, whatever. But play to like 100, get the, do as much as possible. 100's a good one to go for, you can make it unlimited if you want to, but I play to 100 as well, just so you know. Freefall advance, points per kill, 1, that's fine. Points per death, 0, headshot bonus, 0, number of lives, round limit. All of this doesn't matter. So you're gonna go general, you pretty much time it doesn't matter, all of that. So your minimap, you'd actually like it to be normal. Um I'll get to that later. Uh explosive delay should be disabled, doesn't really matter again, you're not gonna use it. Squall streaks delay disabled. Anything like that, all these are fine. So you're gonna go to spawn, that's fine. Now here's what gets important, health and damage. So you're actually gonna run around about sixty percent. 50% your choice, I run 60% if I'm correct, maybe 55%. 55% health, you can make your health regeneration fast, actually. Um, once again, you'll see, I'll, I'll do like a 10 seconds of the drill so you can see how it's done and what it's all about. Friendly fire, all of that doesn't matter. Okay, so then create a class. Now this is very important, you can somewhat disable custom classes. Edit preset class, so what you're going to try and run is, uh, first of all, you can run this, these weapons. You're gonna run all the silent perks there are. So you don't want to know where enemies are. That's the idea. So it's all about reaction. Can I just remove this, please? Thank you. You're gonna put dead silence on. You're gonna put on blast suppressor for the jump around. So and you're also gonna throw on a suppressor here and maybe long barrel so the bots can wreck you. It's all about letting the bots be able to wreck you. Trust it or not. Believe me or not. So you're gonna grow on yet the base assault rifle to test this with or practice with is actually the XR2 because it's burst rifle so you know if your burst hits it's gonna wreck a bitch so personally once again I run F F uh, high caliber uh, fast mags the suppressor there uh, where's that and you can even put on long barrel because it's not going to be about anything more but uh, I don't run the long barrel for this personally you can take off that take off that same story here because the bots are gonna use these classes now 
clicked on the silent perks plus press it. So, okay, that needs to be there, sorry. So, press it, where's that shit? There it is. Okay, so, so far we've got these two. So, this one you're not going to use, but you can now and then. This is really just to teach you, you can use this to test your close range. <laughs> like, you can play Nuketown or something small like, uh, what's that other map? Carbon. Or carbine? Carbine, carbine, sorry. Uh, and just run the Argus to, to practice your close range snapping on targets and stuff. So from here on you can actually just, this doesn't matter really, this can be any gun. Yeah, this looks fine actually, suppressor and fast mags is honestly perfect. Take that off, take that off. Add the blast suppressor, once again you don't want to hear or see the bots or anything. If you will, you get, if you want you can throw the pistol in, but that shouldn't be necessary. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this off, this off. Okay, so we've got a few assault rifles, maybe throw in uh, the CUDA or the Farrah Farrah is actually good also once again it's a burst rifle so you're going to practice your burst rifle training because burst rifles, if all four of those shots hits, it means your snapping is on point per, uh, if I can say it like that. So once again we're going to go fast mags and suppressor and just for good measure for this one I'll throw in just holy shit how big is the suppression on this gun? Holy shit, that look, wow, that's a massive builder. Anyway, uh, we're gonna run a high caliber. Uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying? A long barrel. That's good, that's perfect. And then this doesn't matter really, you can leave this on for the bots to use, but this horse suppressor bots will wreck you with this. So prepare anus. Bots on veteran are extremely, extremely powerful. So, uh, yeah, this is now set up. Everything has a suppressor on, so you, you can't see on the minimap. All the silent stuff has been equipped. Half of them dropped up or down a bit. And, uh, yeah, global settings doesn't matter. All of this doesn't really matter. So, then we're gonna go options. You're gonna save and save as reaction time. Uh, perfect. Well, DR, whatever, doesn't matter. Save that shit, escape. We're going to give you like just 30 seconds to see how it's done. Um, point out a few things you're supposed to do and not supposed to do while doing this. Okay, so it's actually the best thing you could possibly do is completely turn off your game sound, listen to music, something to help you just focus, whatever. You do not want to hear what's going on in the game because this is all about reaction time. You're not supposed to hear anybody shoot close to you, that's why I put all the silence things on. You can't hear footsteps, you can't see somebody jumping on the map, you can't see where people are shooting, you can only hear them. So you can actually try and. Um, Take off sound in any way, go to your Windows Task Manager or even in-game options, uh, audio, drop that shit down, let's do it now, I can show you quickly. So, sound's completely gone, so now it's all about reaction time. You're not allowed to pre-aim any corners, that's the rule, like, no doing this to check, oh shit, okay, well there was a guy there coincidentally, and you just hear quickly, but you can't pre-aim, you're purely allowed to go on reflexes and then you get wrecked, because look at this shit, look at this shit. Bots are tough, man. Tough half. Okay, so, yeah. And this is kind of where you learn how useful this is to do. I don't know. I got wrecked again. So, this is not the best tutorial or demo I can give you. Maybe I can see if I can get a small streak going. I think it should be 50% if I'm correct, because you should be able to kill with two bullets. So, I'm not allowed to pre-aim in here. I'm only allowed to sh aim once I've actually seen somebody. See, like that. All muscle memory. I did change my sense recently, so by the way, I'm running 400 cents in game now. Once again, no pre aim. You can pre check, but not aiming. So, as you can see, my first bullets do hit for the most part, um, but it's not always on point. Once again, I did change my sense, but do this as early as possible in the game. Put a few hours in, and you'll really be up there really quickly. You'll see KD increase a lot. Exclusive Ace is the one who've made these drills. I'm just copying them but modifying them for DJL because he puts like quick drone shit on, which I feel doesn't help. Uh, one big, 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 big point, which I want you guys to focus on is please, please, for the love of God, if you're playing DJL and you want to do well in DJL, please, 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 I'm begging you with my navy blue eyes and shit, I don't know, all of that shit, do not play with cancer in pub. Try and play as oh see that was bad I should not have done that better. Fly try and play as stock as possible. But try as DGL as possible if I can say it like that. So that you don't actually get uh, used to shit. Oh that was a rookie shot. So uh, yeah that's basically it. No pre aiming. No aiming around corners. Uh, solo reaction time. Get yourself used to looking around and quickly reacting if you look around. See I got shot there so that's actually a good time to practice looking around or turning around quickly.
Once again, first shot's heading, and that's what it's all about. 15-6, not bad. But yeah, so let's get out of this. That's good. That's all you need to know for that. That's the reaction time draw. So it's all about reacting as quickly as possible without aiming. So obviously, when you actually start throwing in pre-aim and aiming around corners, and this helps a lot. There's a separate draw for that as well. Or actually, just do normal bots when you just want to practice your overall pre-aiming and skills with 100% health and stuff. So the next drill, while well, the skill cam happens, the next drill is going going to be all about keeping your aim on somebody. You've got this reaction time which just gets that first shot on somebody and then you've got this one that's coming now that's about keeping your aim on somebody and making sure a person is dead before you stop shooting because I know I have died a lot of times because I've stopped shooting before a person is dead. So which is what we're going to do, I'm going to set up this now again, you'll see in a second. Um, yeah, you pretty much want to get used to Keeping your aim on people, sadly bots don't help a lot with this because they don't jump around as much as people, that's why you need to play pop a bit, and once again, preferably, please, please, with uh, DJL things, try and, s if you want to do well, <laughs> I'm not going to preach to you if you're a spub scrub, but if you want to do well in DJL, cause these, this is the equalizer, in my very first video I said I'm trying to equalize you in DJL, so you can actually get somewhere and stuff, so, um, yeah, how we're going to set this one up is edit game rules. I might as well reset this quickly. Uh, change game mode, just free fall, normal free fall. Edit game rules. Okay, so once again, make the time limit whatever, it doesn't matter. Score limit doesn't matter either. You can make it 100, unlimited. Oh, holy shit, 1000. Yeah, that will take forever. Let's not do that. But I leave it on 100. I feel that's a good amount, but you can make it more. I've played to 300 just for the unlimited on, just to. At the start, I did that. Oh, and by the way, do this at the start, for example two to three times a week, spend an hour two to three times a week to practice just to get your aim in and then once you're done, I mean I only do it like once every two weeks nowadays if I feel my aim's a bit off and I need to get back into it or something so once again don't need to change this don't need to change this yeah, yeah. health and damage, so now we're gonna run 160% health okay, why? because we're cool like that you can make the health regeneration normal so you can chase bitches down uh, create a class. So, what you're gonna do here, you're gonna edit your preset classes, disable that. You're gonna try and run DGL classes. I've, with extended mag, is the only exception. And your purpose should be, I'm running K in here for example, high caliber, FMJ, uh, extended mag, and fast mags even, so you can get back to fights quicker. But that shouldn't matter too much, I'm actually not gonna put fun fast mags, so you can actually realize how much in dangerous or how mu in how much danger you can get into if you don't manage your clip properly and then yeah you can actually throw on the pistol so you can at the same time practice your pistoling a bit you can take that off that off here nothing else matters in the end nothing does matter and then we're gonna run here SMG CUDA once again uh, extended mag and FMJ for this one pistol with that FMJ I'm gonna take that away, take that away, take, take, take that away, all of that away, because you don't need it. And oh, don't use quick draw. If you want to think you're tempted to use quick draw, don't do it. It really screws over your aim in DJL because you don't aim that far. So, I just, just in general, try and stick to DJL things. I'll, I'll set you, show you my class setup. I play pubs with I 50 bomb with this. It's not overpowered at all. It just comes down to pure skill where you actually train. So I feel that's a better way to play the game anyway. But that's just personal opinion. So I'm not gonna. Once again, I'm not gonna tell you no, you shit. Even though you are, which I believe whoever's watching this, you actually want to get better. So um, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, so just once again, I'm going through all of this, setting up these glasses, take all of that away, add this bad boy, and then we're just quickly going to throw in an extended mag. So for now, that's all we really need. Uh, maybe just throw in a Pharaoh glass, because Pharaoh is nice. Um, extended mag, and FMJ. Throw in that, that, and nothing else. That's perfect, right? Yeah, if you want you can snipe, it's all your choice, just make sure the bots don't have that shit. So if you want you can snipe, just to test that your double quick scopes maybe, I don't know, it's all up to you. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so yeah, here yeah, goes the drill, I think this is all good, uh, health and damage 160%, all of this is good. Uh, global settings, nothing we want to change here, I'm going to say options, wait, end game rules, options save, save as accuracy 
Ah, crap, my caps lock is on. Accuracy. Because this is about accuracy and keeping your aim on a person. Okay, so save. So, how are you going to want to run the bots for this one? There's going to be set up bots. You're going to run uh, a lot, like a lot. Uh, I forgot there's one thing you want to change. But change that to regular, recruit, whatever you want. I, you don't want hard bots. This is not about dying necessarily. This is about just act practicing your aim. And normal bots actually tend to run away more, so that helps you to uh, practice that. Uh, one thing I forgot to change here is. Um, where is the minimap? Where is that general? Yeah, right. You actually want the minimap to be on always, constant. Uh, with good reasons. So let's just save again. Sorry for that. Um, what's it called? Yeah, it's accuracy. We should make it B2 because this is really I think that's all. So yeah, I'm going to sum around the same mod, uh, map. Yeah, I'll just show you what you're gonna do, what's the point of this. So in general, the point of this is you can pre-aim everything, uh, you're gonna know where the people are coming from, uh, but the general idea is you need to see how many kills you can get out of one clip. So with a cane, I think a good amount of kills to get with, uh, with one clip is five, and you can put the sound back on, so let's go to sound, let's drag that to the max. I hope you guys can still hear me, otherwise I'll, be bleak. I'll just turn this down a bit. So you guys can still hear me. Okay. So you see there's a guy there. He tanked a bit. I got wrecked from behind, obviously. Okay, so. It's all about keeping your aim on, not stopping and making sure that you don't do this. Oh yeah, don't reload. You want to... See how many bullets you, of kills you can get out of one max up. Let's see. Let's see that was bad. That's one kill so far. So you can watch see my kills. I can count. Let's try again. I'm gonna see this guy coming. One, two, oh, whatever. Three, four. I think four is actually a decent one. Five is. Oh shit! I got right. Five is a good amount to get. Um, a very good gun to actually practice with is the ICR because it gets tanked a lot, so but it doesn't have a lot of recoil, so it just once again helps you practice keeping aim one. That's three. Five. The fifth one doesn't count that well, I was obviously partial, but let's check this guy. Assassin kill. A very big thing that you should also get used to learning is reload cancels. So if you ever try and reload when you're on like a half mag or something, but be very, very ready to cancel in case you see somebody like that. So I can go freely. But yeah, you should also try and count how many kills you get for a might be asking why am I weapon switching so much? Um, <laughs> superstitious reasons, but I've heard a lot about it. Uh, actually, after you like weapon switch like this, your aim down sight is a bit faster. And I don't know, I think that here screen is quite nice. It also helps you readjust your aim faster. Like, if I shoot somebody, I want to switch to somebody else. It's easier for me to just. Oh, that guy wrecked me good. It's easier to actually weapon switch, see what's going on, and then I snap back onto him. I don't know. It's a it's a mental thing. I can't 100% explain it to you, to be honest. This feels like it gets me going again whenever I weapon switch like that. Okay, so yeah, that's let's try with Ferry here a bit. See how it goes. Thanks a lot. Switch. Oh, by the way, also in every single cut, so I don't think ever, you could actually weapon switch just before the reloads finish to make the weapon switch go faster. See, that's a moment you think he's dead, but he isn't, so then you have to quickly be able to reload cancel. In previous games you couldn't actually, uh, you could actually do, just use shift to cancel. 
This is not cool. What's the one thing I wanted to actually show you now? Oh yeah, the reload. This is normal reload. So this gun doesn't show it that well, but... Yeah, this gun doesn't show it that well, but the gun actually shows it really well, like the difference in the reload speed and shit. Let's actually show you. So, shooting... Oh shit, let's just kill this bitch. This is normal reload. Why does it just seem like it's not reloading all along like it's supposed to? But yeah, it is slightly faster actually weapon switching. Just double tap whatever your weapon switches and don't use my spell. I personally would not use my spell. But yeah, so that's that drill. You can free aim, but it's all about keeping your aim on a person, not missing and shit. I'm good with this one, so I'm bad with reaction time things, so if you're one of those reaction time kings, you should really be good at this shit. Yeah, sometimes we can say it looks like a music controller, but that's really because I'm running 400 synths, so essentially for me to do just a 90 degree turn, I have to take my mouse across my side mouse pad, so it might look suspicious. But <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, that's that. So now, next part is going to be just in general um, my glass setup for pubs, because pubs is one of the best places you can train, because then you get used to lag. For, for example, on your local host with uh, bots, it's all zero ping, so your hit rate will feel amazing. So you need to kind of learn how to deal with a bit of lag and stuff. And glass setup, I'm going to show you now. Um, like a few variations I have of class setup, I'll quickly show you. Okay, this is now, this is now, that's actual pub, uh, private, so public. DJ Arcane, so it's really, it's the uh, high caliber FMJ pistol, grenade smoke, so you can use the low learn out where smokes land sometimes, or when nades land, you can learn some really interesting things just playing pubs with these good things. And then run flak jacket, because you don't want to die from freaking witch no mines or random nades or s and stuff like that. And then Blast suppressor because that's a DJL perk, and I'd actually even take that off for some of my classes here because it's not that necessary. You don't want to be sneaky, you don't want to catch people off guard, you want to catch them in gunfights because Bob is going to teach you gunfights. I'll show you where you're going to learn how to game skill, and then yeah, tactical master, you don't get concussed and flashbang because that's cancer. So, yeah, that's one of my variations. Other variation looks something like this wait, not like that, sorry, uh, this one around about, yeah. So, we opt out to take the watch and call it away. What's it, what's it? The blast suppressor. You throw in a uh, uh, la 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 scavenger, so you can constantly use your DJL gun, or to constantly use it because you eventually get so good with it, you like it so much. And I heard actually in Infinite Warfare, if you play with one gun, you can actually attach a perk to that gun, and you get 25 kills with only that gun. You get a tactical nuke. It's not going to be as easy to get a tactical nuke anymore and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Um, Got high caliber FMJ. One of the things I do sometimes take off and change around with, I take FMJ off and I throw fast mags on so I can stay in gunfights and shit more often in pub. That's that. So, next big thing. Where I started to get good in my life was, uh, well, not my life, but I mean um, in DJL and stuff, is playing pickups. Pickups is essentially a random mix where you literally 10 people from random teams join the pickup and you play against each other. You learn your individual skill and you also learn to communicate and you also learn a few map names and you learn new interesting things by speaking other players and you can actually kind of think, see what's going on in their mind or simultaneously while you're watching them play you can think I would have done that and uh, you could actually figure out how that would have mapped out. So that's a way you can actually teach yourself some game sense and game skill of playing pickups. So I actually there used to be a pickup site uh, I don't think it's up at the mall anymore at all. Easy pickups dot com or oh, well, .co .z I think was a South African thing but uh, unfortunately the guy was thinking it th yeah, couldn't do it anymore so I just went and I made my own one this is this is still in beta phase um, so don't hate on me if it's not that good there's my email address I don't know if that matters I'll just blur it out and yeah so essentially all you're gonna do if you want you can talk to me to become an admin on this website then it allows you to change the map oh well sorry so it's like I said it's in development uh, so I can join now now you can see I'm daddy cool, I'm playing, somebody else can join from a different website, or, okay, well not a different website, but somebody else can just join, and uh, they'll join here, and yeah, eventually when it's full, a small sound will sound, letting you know that it's ready, and then you can go and play the game and enjoy the game 
with other people. It's really fun playing pickups. It's essentially a mini clan. And clannies are where you obviously learn and stuff. But because Bob, for the most part, is cancer. So yeah. And then you can leave. And as an admin, you can clear the pickups just so in case people go to sleep and shit. So if you know a bit about web development and how to push updates, please get in contact with me because I'm not too good with that yet. Still learning that with university being shut down, we should have learned this like two weeks ago. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't. But I'll, I'll eventually learn that, so I'm going to chat, implement a chat window, and also, like, if somebody clicks join, it automatically joins. At the moment, the page refreshes every 10 seconds. But yeah, pickups, really, really important. Get your friends to get into pickups so you can teach yourselves how to play better and play together with friends, meet, meet new players, see how they are actually in person in TeamSpeak in the game. It's actually really, really fun. There's a TeamSpeak we can use. I'll also blow that out. You'll have to come to the site. I'll link this in the site. Now, a big other thing, a really, really big thing, one of my favorite youtubers I've actually he's a CS youtuber but I take a lot of these things to heart and it's in general to do with playstyle now this guy's name is Long Barrel he's got some really really nice videos I'll I'll link them all in the description again but let's just uh, get them up there for you show you Long Barrel this is the guy so you know exactly who it is so yeah for example I just watched this today that's really important be a better clutch player he teaches you how to actually clutch and what to think about and I I wish I had this like a few weeks ago or like a week ago so I could actually have used this because it's really a mental thing to take note of. The s how to be an entry fagger. Uh, I'll show you which ones it, it is, which is important. How to be a better team player. That's something lots of people struggle with. So something really, really good to do. Um, my in-game thought process is an interesting video to watch actually. Um, and then I think there's three more. La 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 la. Be a better orper. This thing is not just being a better orper. It actually has a bunch of things just to be better at your gun skills and how to peek corners and stuff. Be a smart player is a really really good one to watch. Uh, like I said, every single one of these that I'm pointing out now, better rifler is very important because it's honestly helped me a lot. Better vessel player, and I think that's all actually. So you can check these videos out. Uh, that's honestly, <laughs> I could go into these. I give a small description, but it's like. 10 minutes per video and it's really worth the time because this guy's a brilliant CS player but it's it's implementable on any first person shooter game and not just uh, CS so yeah go check that out and uh, I think that's all for this video guys uh, thanks for watching uh, thanks for all my supporters uh, people watching my live streams I really really appreciate all of you are really epic I'll see if I can do some more live streams now while uh, in the holidays um, really enjoy live streaming. I'll see if I can live stream on launch day of uh, Infinite Warfare so you guys can see how it is and make up your minds. For me, the gameplay I've been seeing so, seeing so far looks really, really epic. And uh, yeah, cheers guys. This is Daddy Cool, out.